Hello guys, Sanjay here and as you can see I have the Redmi Note 2 Prime with me and uh, it's not me why that I have installed on this phone it is Sanvision Mod 12.1 so if we go into settings and then if we go into about phone you will be able to see that it is Sanvision Mod 12.1 which is based on 5.1.1 and the MIUI version that we have it is uh, MIUI 7 based on 5.0.2 whereas we have 5.1.1 with CM 12.1 and uh, MIUI 7 and Sanvision Mod 12.1 are like completely different ROMs and it's like having best of both the worlds so and Redmi Note 2 Prime or Redmi Note 2 has it so that's surely a very good thing and I've been using this ROM for a week now and I have tested the ROM very thoroughly so here is my review of the Sanvision Mod 12.1 ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 And if you are interested in how to install guide of the ROM then stay tuned till the end of the video it will be there so do not worry about that. And uh, as you can see the multitasking and performance of the ROM is really smooth. I have oh my god I have so many uh, apps running in the background still there is no performance issue at all. So let's take a picture and let's see how is the camera on Sanvision Mod 12.1. And uh, camera on MIUI 7 is really great and I am completely completely impressed by it. Whereas on Sinogen Mod 12.1 the pictures are really good, they are not bad at all but those are not as good as MIUI 7. So if you are expecting camera to be like very good then it's not like that and when we switch to front facing camera, front facing camera according to me is far better as compared to the rear facing camera. So let's take a picture, here is the picture and the picture looks okay. Come on picture. Okay, so the picture also looks good as you can see over here. And the benchmarks are really nice. Don't worry about the benchmarks. Even though benchmarks are just numbers, those are almost similar to what we get on MIUI 7. So no issues with that also. Now let's talk about the music quality on the ROM. And music quality as I was expecting, it is pretty decent to very good I would say. Uh, because on MIUI 7 you have to adjust different presets and if you are wearing different earphones then those are supposed to be adjusted by going through settings but on this music application you don't have to do anything like that and the uh, music output is also very good uh, as you can see so yeah it is also very good let's pause that song before we get a copyright strike and uh, if, if you want to change the equalizer settings then you can go over here and change that now let's talk about the battery life on the device and as you can see on the screen I always got 4 hours and 4 hours plus screen on time on this phone with Sanvision Mod 12.1 which is very very surprising because I was not expecting much from the battery life on this ROM and uh, battery life is one of the reasons why I stayed on this ROM for a week otherwise I would have just shifted back to MIUI 7 immediately but I did not because the battery life was also very good. So basically all the Sanvision Mod 12.1 features are also present over here. So if you just double tap over here, the phone will get locked. And now let's, yeah, as you can see, this is the quick settings panel. If you want to change it, then go into settings and then go over here. That is notification drawer, eight tiles configured. So from here, you can add different tiles according to your needs. So let's assume that you want um, sync tile to be present then you can get it over here and then change its position and replace Wi-Fi with sync so as you can see sync is present over here so you can do tons and tons of things with Sanvision Mod 12.1 I have made a dedicated video showing you guys uh, features of Sanvision Mod 12.1 I'll give the direct link of that in the description box below and if you guys want to know anything specific about this ROM then do let me know about that in the comment section below I'll surely try to answer your queries and the camera samples as you can see on the screen are also very good with Sanvision Mod 12.1 so no issues with that also and now let's get to the part where I'll show you guys how to install Sanvision Mod 12.1 and to do this you will need to have TWRP recovery installed and if you do not have TWRP recovery installed don't worry I'll just give a guide in the description box below and after you have flashed TWRP recovery uh, if you are on MIUI 7 simply switch off your device and as you can see I have switched off the device and now we need to boot into the custom recovery mode so for that hold the volume up button and power button together and the phone should boot into the TWRP recovery and once MI logo comes up just release the button so now we have booted into the TWRP recovery successfully and the first thing you should do before you install any type of custom ROM is that 
back up the current rom so that if anything in future goes wrong then you can simply restore this backup and come back to the rom which you are currently on so do back up the rom which is very important and once the backup is completed simply hit back button over here and uh, let me just tell you one thing that when you are backing up if, if you do not have enough space in your internal storage then click over here that is storage option and you can select micro sd card or if you attach a usb otg to the phone then you can back up the rom to usb otg also which is like really good feature and after this now go to wipe and just select swipe to factory reset this will wipe the data cache and dalvik cache so you do not have to wipe anything else after that just go back once again now go over to install swipe down and select the cyanogen mod 12.1 rom uh, so as you can see this is the cyanogen mod 12.1 rom just swipe to confirm flash and i'll give the direct links of the rom in the description box below so do not worry about that do check out the description box below before you ask about any links because it's completely possible that the link which you need is already in the description box below so do check that out once the rom installation is completed simply come back and then go to install once again and now select the G apps or Google apps packages from here and just swipe to confirm flash. Google apps packages is very very important if you want to use Google apps like Play Store, Maps and many things like that. And after this is done, simply go over here, select reboot system and reboot the phone. And now we will boot into the Cyanation Mod 12.1. Now as you can see over here, we are booting into the Cyanation Mod 12.1 ROM. So yeah, this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because many more awesome videos on the Redmi Note 2 are going to come real soon. And yes, full review of the Redmi Note 2 is on its way. So do hit that subscribe button if you want to come to know about that. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.